Welcome back to the channel. This is how fast. Sorry guys, I couldn't help myself. I know the Porsche is a summer car, but I had to take her for a spin today, so don't tell the boys. Uh, guess what I've got? I went and I took a chance online and I bought some, uh, some weather stripping that I think is gonna work pretty nice for around the edge of uh, the battery box and a little magnetic latch for it. So I'm hoping that that'll, uh, that'll work and hold the lid down. So I got that. We're gonna throw that on right now. Uh, and then I'm gonna throw this box back into the back of Dudgy. Uh, back into that hole there. I might uh, even throw a couple screws in there to, or a couple bolts in there to bolt it down. And then we're going to start taking off this brake assembly here, which I wanted to start on last week, um, but I got uh, kind of distracted. So this week, uh, we're going to jump into this. We're going to pull this thing apart. We're going to lube it up and see if we can get the parts moving again. And with any luck, uh, this thing will be salvageable. I mean, it's a Willwood brake kit and with a, with a uh, dual cylinder, so I mean, why wouldn't we? And it's adjustable. I mean, gosh, why wouldn't we try and save this thing? So I'm gonna pull that out uh, after we put on some of that weather stripping. So let's get on that right now. Okay, so I have the, I put some tape around the edge here just to kind of pour, like create like a frame, clean it up a bit. And the uh, the rubber, the weather, the weather stripping on the inside fits nice. Look at that, and it closes, no rattling around. And I have this little magnetic latch I picked up. So I'm gonna put that on the inside here and uh, we'll get that one in place and we can put this thing back in the car. All right, got it attached. It's, it's in there, top, bottom. Hear that? Click. Stays closed. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the strongest magnet. So that might get changed to something mechanical instead of magnetic in the future. Because I'm sure that like it does lock, but it's definitely not like gonna hold on to too many G's. So that's gonna have to get changed. But alright, we'll leave it for now. Uh, I'm gonna pull the uh, battery out because I don't feel like trying to pick that up, and then we'll put this in the car. Well, boys, would you look at that? Doesn't that look pretty? Looks really good in there. Uh, you know, one little design flaw, though, a little oversight. Can't open it. Guess I didn't take any consideration. There's a bit of an angle here at the top of the, the rear cowl, or the rear, uh, I guess that'd be the firewall for the back. So now I'm going to have to modify the lid of this thing. <clears throat> Bummer. Okay, so I used this uh, funny little old angle finder to find what I think is the angle for the um, for the back of that that shroud there. Whatever you want. I don't know. What, what is that called? I don't know. The back wall of the car. And I'm going to put that on here. And I'm going to draw a line on that angle. And hopefully that'll be the right angle and it should should fit. Okay, let's hit it with the zip disc, see what happens. Okay fellas, there it is. Put the uh, little notch, little notch in the top there and now she clears. Pretty nice. Enough, wide enough that we can open it up. Still close enough that we can seal it. 
and I'll just put a couple when I put this when we put the final bolts that are going to hold this in I'll put a couple in that top corner up there and that thing will be part of the part of the shell but there she is all done okay let's get started with this uh, brake pedal assembly like I said it's a Willwood and it's got um, like dual reservoirs and it's got this balance bar here which is adjustable so you can put like a bias to the front or the back brakes now I don't know what the regular setup is um, and I also notice in the car here there's an additional adjustment point here that, that allows the driver to adjust left to right rear brake bias so that's kind of cool I'm not going to use uh, I'm definitely not going to use that one but this is kind of neat and it's it's nice it seems it's simple enough to adjust um, but the first thing we got to do is got to take off this uh, this other line uh, that runs to the back brakes and drill out one two more rivets and this I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys I don't have a clue how this thing comes apart other than I see a nut on this side and a bolt on this side with an allen key so I'm gonna pull those off and see if I can separate this thing from, from the firewall um, and then unbolt it from the floor there so wish me luck put this together I think they made like a plate off like on the table built, built it around this brake assembly and then welded the brake pedal hatch panel into the firewall I think that's what they did all around this is welded here so I'm disassembling this probably I mean I don't know if it's the right way or not but it's, it's working there's one. There it is, um, that Willwood brake setup pulled out of the car. Uh, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure these guys, I, I think they made this patch panel, built, assembled the, uh, put the assembly together around it, and then welded it into the car, I, I think, because the way, it was, it was not fun to get that out of there. But either way, it's out, it's good. So next week what we'll do is we'll put this on the bench and we'll figure out what parts are if, if any are reusable and we'll try and clean it up, recondition it uh, and reassemble it and then we'll put it back into the car because I mean it's going right back in that same spot. So that's going to do it for today's episode guys. Um, you know, we got that off, we got that brake pedal off, we're going we're gonna to mess around with that next week uh, and we're also going to start cutting out some of those body panels from that aluminum the church brought over. So as far as how fast trivia goes, last week we had a question and the correct answer was given by, again, Chuck B. Chuck, you're on top of your game, brother. Um, and the question was, which car manufacturer produced the Zonda? The options were A, Ferrari, B, Pagani, C, Lamborghini, and D, Alfa Romeo. The correct answer, as Chuck had put it, and I pinned it, was the Pagani. And also, uh, our friend, one of the members of the How Fast family, uh, Pavel from uh, Korolev, Russia, he had actually, uh, if you guys were following along in the comments, he had... Uh, told um, a story of apparently you can get a apparently when you buy a Zonda you are given a pair of shoes that are sewn for you specifically from the master sewer of the Pope's shoes that's amazing I I, I, don't, I didn't fact check it but I believe it to be true because because Pavel said it and seems to be a knowledgeable fella so uh, congratulations to Chuck B this week's question is a little bit harder so better get your thinking caps on for this one 
In which city is it illegal to stop to allow pedestrians to cross the road? Is it A, Tokyo, B, Beijing, C, Mumbai, or D, Jakarta? So make sure you guys put your comments. Make sure, if you can, try and be the first person to put it, and I will be sure to pin that comment, the first correct comment. Now, you guys, I can see, I can see a lot, a lot of answers coming in, and I appreciate that, guys, and I really like it, and, it's, and I like it so much that I've decided that I want to start rewarding you guys for getting the right answer and for being a consistent player of the game. So um, what I'm going to do right now is starting next week, not this week, we're going to let this week go, but starting next week, I'm going to start keeping track. And the, f the person who over the next four weeks, I would say, let's say five weeks, best of five, will get a How Fast Care package. And I will ship it to you free of charge and you guys can get yourselves some How Fast Gear. So, um, if you like that idea, give, give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a comment, and if you can, hit the notification bell if you're not already subscribed, so you get notified every time I upload and you don't miss out on some of uh, the dodgy content here. So, uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks again for all the likes, all the comments, and all the support. I'll catch up with you guys next time. Find out how fast we can make this car go.